it's just more proof that um, Lucario is Yoda in disguise. Well, he's dead, so it happens, I guess. Uh, let's use Repel, just because I know it's kind of on, but I don't want to like make you guys have to watch me spend another five minutes like walking through this shit and uh, going back up to the where the real excitement is with the. 8-bit pixelated characters standing facing each other, so that's what you guys were here for. That's what you really want to... Um, okay. I miss this guy. He's been creepily standing in the bushes, so I guess we're fighting this guy now. Whatever. That's cool. I'm here to fight. Yeah, Purloin, I don't know what you are, so we'll fight you with this guy. I'll just use the same move I always use. Move. Talking. Talking. Well, that was super effective, so I clearly chose off screen oh, knowing I would be fighting a purloin. Which I still, as I said, know the move type of. Uh, no, no, because Pikachu's a bitch, as we figured out. I feel like even though I don't know the stats, um, I just won't switch to Pikachu now because he, I just, facing him, he kind of sucks. Except he's probably gonna, okay. If he'd one hit me there, I might have actually just started using him because he'd be kind of proving me wrong. Also, the electric Pokemon was paralyzed by a non-electric Pokemon, which is not irony because I don't know how irony works. Ah, oh, level 21. New move, new move, new move. Guys, new move. Hmm? No? About to send in that weird, um, isn't this Locknick monster? The Locknick? The Lockness. No, this is the weird grass guy. Well, I feel like fighting's just good against everything. Kind of. Except he's gonna use Protect, so never mind. He's just gonna... It, it literally just kind of negates that turn. Really no need for it, unless you were had some other larger alternate strategy, which I doubt this guy has, because... Yeah. I mean, no offense, but he's kind of hiding in a bush, so. Well, this isn't very effective, but I should be able to take him out. Although, this might hurt a lot. No, that's not very effective either. Apparently, we are just really bad fighters. Both of us, even though I'm a fighting-type Pokemon. Fighting's apparently not my forte. Uh, nope. Nope, not gonna kill him, because that'd be too easy. We need to just, you know, deal, like, very minimal damage to each other a couple more times before this battle's over. I will fight you with a force palm. Yay, experience! I was distracted, that's all. By what? The rain? You've been sitting in a bush all day. The only purpose you have in life is fighting these poker trainers. Literally, that's it. You have nothing else going on, personally or professionally. That was really mean, but whatever. That's what I'm. That's a. That's what I'm going with. Um, I think I'm just gonna switch Seahorse in, because you know he is my main Pokemon, so he probably should be a higher level than Flightless. Okay. Um, there we go. Probably should go back to that water eventually, but I'll forget about it, so never mind. Probably won't. I. Okay. I was about to say either repels. Um, no, that's fine. Either repels working, or I'm really lucky. Probably should use Repel, but uh, YOLO, just do it. Okay, who are these people? Cutscene. Odin, this has gone on long enough. I know why Team Asgard has taken over the Pokehedron Collider, and let me tell you, you will never succeed. You don't have the Time Caller. There will be no danger as long as we can keep you from finding it, and I am a robot. Is that so? I know someone who might disagree with you. Isn't that right? Blank boot bootleg. <gasps> the surprise. Did you hear what he just said? He's bluffing, right? If they truly have the time caller, then the world as we So this argument wouldn't have gone this way except I decided to show up like an asshole and give them the upper hand. Are they telling the truth? Please bootleg, they can't be. Yeah, oh should I said no. Whoops, my bad. Well, hopefully the game's not over now. But it really doesn't matter because they do have it, so whatever I say, they fucking have the weird Time Turner or whatever. Stole it from Hermione. Feast your eyes on the almighty Shaman, the legendary Pokemon. Probably a If I have to fight it, it's probably level 21. Eat it. Eat the Pokemon. 
<laughs> Stop it from entering the world. Shaman, clear us a path. Kill everyone. Maybe. Wah ha 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 ha. You didn't really clear a path. I don't really know what you did. You kind of just disappeared. Also, you spelled artifacts wrong again. Apparently, no one knows how to spell that word. A rare and powerful Pokemon. We can still beat them, right? Yeah, well, dude, I have a level, like, 15 Onyx, so... I mean, we're pretty much set. Also, I have the Wheat King in the in the PC, so... I mean, unless, as long as they don't use any special moves, then I'm, I'm good. He researches legendary Pokemon. Really? I couldn't tell by the name. I need you to go see him. It's a book explaining the... So it's not even him, it's just his book? You couldn't buy the book yourself, and then you'd never have to go see him again. Okay, whatever. We'll wait for your return. I didn't really pay attention to what you were doing. Please, bootleg, do what the professor says. What did he say? Go, we'll await your return. Find the book in the legend researcher's lab. I guess there's a lab. I also might use a repel. Oh, they... D okay, I'm about... I, I, was, I was debating how good this game was. I was to say either second best Pokemon game, 45th best, or best. Might be the best one ever now, because they didn't make me walk back through there and use repels and or fight a bunch of random Pokemon. So the fact that they've done this makes me very happy. Yeah, with this guy's house, with the knocked over plant. I was, I haven't, I was, haven't been cleaning the lab lately. This guy's clearly English. I've been out on field work, like the unknown mission you helped with, remember? Nope. No, short term memory loss. It's a kind of a problem. I'm studying the statue. It might be a legendary Pokemon. You can help if you want. I've been collecting scriptures and prophecies about legendary Pokemon. My research is in the book on the table if you want to check it out. Maybe... Is this the book they want? I'm pretty sure the book they wanted was just like a reference book. It's the book the professor was talking about. Steal it! Nope, steal it. Then there was an egg. A golden egg. <laughs> this is the best origin story ever. A powerful egg. Inside this egg, there was, there was beast known as, yeah, this guy's definitely not English. He's writing shit. He's probably, inside the egg, there was beast known as Arceus. Arceus, original Pokemon. Arceus created the world as we know it, time, space, and antimatter. So they have, like, you know, they have, like, a Hadron Collider in the same world where they all believe that everything came from an egg. Kind of questionable Pokemon story writers. Before he did this, however. He created a Pokemon to... The book is too burnt to get... Didn't this guy write it? Oh, maybe he just kept the book. Oh, no. Sorry about the mess. I burnt this book. Oh? The professor sent you here. That must mean... Team Asgard found the time caller, right? Yep, and they're blasting off again. This is not good. We need to talk. We need to talk... Apparently, we need to talk some more. Because we haven't been talking enough with this goddamn 45 minutes of dialogue. How do I put this? Remember that unknown you saw in the cave? Yeah, the one I captured? It was pretty powerful, right? Not at all. Sorry. Imagine that kind of power times a couple billion, and you have the power of a legendary Pokemon. So about... The, uh, times a billion would be about the power of, like, a level 20 Pikachu, which I, I've been able to take care of, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. Let's do this shit. Yes, yes. Bring something from the past to the present. Like a Brontosaurus. I do like the music in the background, like... I'm not really reading anymore. I told you to go visit Wilson in Fianga City. Wilson is one of the lead scientists at the Pokey Hadron Collider. It's just, they can summon a really powerful Pokemon at the Pokey Hadron Collider. If they use the Time Caller. Dot 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 dot. I did just read that. He created the universe, and then fell into a deep sleep. We just read it, why would you... You just as if I read it. I said yes, but then you just... Okay, whatever. Suddenly, everything began to click into place. Those strange writings nobody could understand. Those weird hieroglyphs. They were from the ancient Egyptians. No. Arceus created a Pokemon with power to match its own. To watch over... The Why? You... I have a feeling Arceus was just super lazy. He was like, I'm gonna create this Pokemon and then go chill in this alternate dimension and do nothing. Because that's how I live my life. Yep. You know what I just realized? 
Okay, I'm gonna stop this recording, start another one. I'm gonna be very unhappy if something just happened. We're back. Um, I hopefully, uh, there's a like 2% possibility I recorded this with the internal mic, um, but I kind of listened to it. It didn't sound too bad. So, worst comes to worst, there's a little bit of like slightly subpar qual um, volume, uh, audio quality, but if that actually is the case, then I will um, apparently not listen to what he's saying, but I will just raise the volume a little bit on that so that you can hear it better and then you know what I'm saying and then you're like, this is bad, but then you'll appreciate the difference between this and real audio. We'll see. I also wasn't listening to what he just said. Oh, hey there. Sorry about the... God damn it. I was haven't been cleaning the lab lately. What did he just tell me to do? I totally just skipped that. 